Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLV Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Panda Street Code, Question Type Easy, Question Number 197 Rising Temperature. Along with that, the, the GitHub link for the solution is provided in the chat description below. You can join the Telegram and LinkedIn YouTube community for further updates and discussions. Scan here to join the community. The links are also provided in the video description below. Now, let's solve the question together. So, this is the question. Let us see the table first. They have given some weather table, ID, records, and temperature. Means some four weather details they have given. One, two, three, four. What is this? 2015 January 1st the temperature is 10 degrees January 2nd 25 degrees January 3 20 degrees January 4 30 degrees okay now what they are saying write a solution to find all dates IDs okay they want only IDs with higher temperature compared compared to the previous date okay let us assume there are two dates okay they want only that IDs of that date such that the date should have a temperature greater than the previous state okay let us take an example and watch it so this is our table okay let me come here so we can see there is this january first january 2 okay let me see the previous day for January 2 is January 1. Okay. So, what is the temperature? 10. What is the temperature? 25. Can I say? Just a minute. Can I say 10 is less than 25? Okay. So, can I say today's temperature is greater than yesterday? So, this thing is eligible. Okay. Now, let me compare 2 and 3. Okay. Let me compare 2 and 3. So, what is the temperature? 25 less than 20. Is it true? No. It means for the third date, the temperature is not greater than the previous date. Let us go for 3 and 4. Okay. Which is January 3 and January 4. Again, we can see the temperature 20 less than 30. Okay. It is being satisfied. So, can I say this one is also true? Okay. So, only on January 2nd and January 4th, the temperature is greater than the previous date. Am I right? Now, what are the IDs when they are greater? 2 and 4. So, this is our output. Okay. So, this is the logic we want to get. So, how to get it syntax wise? We can see that, for example, this row should be connected to this row row wise connection should be there okay we can do lag and lead but there is an issue let us imagine the dates are continuous here january 1 january 2 january 3 january 4 imagine it is not continuous 1 3 5 7 if you do lag and lead we can't get the previous date right so there will be an issue am i right so let us use a smart technique okay let us join the table to this table itself only okay so let me erase this let me okay let us say this is some a table okay this is b table let us say this is some yesterday. Yesterday table. Let us say this is today table. Okay. So you can see here, for example, imagine January 1st is yesterday. What would be today? It would be January 2. Am I right? Now, we can create a connection like this. Am I right? Let us go for January 2. So, January 2 yesterday means what would be the next day? It would be 
January 3. For a January 3, it would be January 4. Am I right? So this three rows would be there. For January 4, no rows are there, so we don't care about them. So let us compare the first row comparison. We have seen that this is the connection. Here clearly the first table's temperature is less than the second table temperature. Yes. Let us go for the second row. Here clearly the first table temperature which is behaving like yesterday is not greater than the second table temperature. Okay. Let us go to the third matching row. Here again it is matching. So what we need to do? We need to connect these two tables such that the day difference, the record date difference is 1. Okay. The date difference should be 1. Next, the first table temperature which is previous day's temperature should be less than today's temperature. That is 2. And what they want? Whenever the condition is satisfying, that present day's ID they want. What is the present day among these two tables? This is the present table. This is yesterday's table. So they want IDs of these two tables. Okay. So what is the first thing we need to do? Step 1. Connect these two tables. Let us call it as some alias A and B. Using this record date equal to, for example, the second record date, something is there, right? Minus 1. Because there is a day difference. That is step 1. What is step 2? filter A table temperature less than the B table temperature. Okay. What is the third step? We want only to select the B table ID column. Okay. Let us do these things, everything step by step. Okay. Let me go to the step one. So there is an issue. As you see, I can't connect directly like this 0 1 0 1 0 2 0 2 am I right so let us create a new column in the B table such that yesterday let us subtract one from this table so that it will become yesterday in the same table so let me show you where is this yeah so let me call a as weather which is the first copy okay or you for your a yesterday or let me leave it like that this is like yesterday and b equal to weather this is behaving like today okay if you want to see the table b you can see okay now i want one more column which is what the previous state so i'll create B of previous is equal to P of record date plus if I want to subtract one day from this I can use offset date one okay let me see I think some O maybe mm. let us check what is the issue Let us check for the function itself. Okay, it is date offset. PD dot. Z 
customers let me check what is date offset okay Now we got it right. Can you see? Record date was what? 1, 2, 3, 4. What was the previous date? Etc. etc. But what I want, I don't want the next date. I want previous date. So let me keep minus 1. So now we got the date right. Can you see? This one, previous date. This one, previous date. Let me show you the A table also. Okay. Now we got the A table and also the B table. Um, I'll be right. Are we doing any mistake? Yeah, we are doing right only. Okay. As it is a copy, it is coming like that. No issue. We can connect it. Let us say df is equal to a dot merge b as it is the same table doesn't matter so how we need to join hub is equal to let us say inner join and how i'm connecting left side should be from record date right side from previous okay now it is connecting can you see january 1st is connected with january 2 january 2 is connected with january 3 january 3 is connected with january 4 okay our step one is successfully done okay we have completed successfully step one okay so what is the step two we need to filter the first table temperature greater than less than second table temperature okay let us come here St step two okay where i want data frame of where the temperature x as temperature is common in both the tables when you do merging for the left side table suffix underscore x would be added for the right side table underscore y will be added so underscore x is the a tables underscore y is b table okay okay let us see the table Um, just let me see sorry df equal to I should write I need to store it right yeah now we are getting only the data frame rows where this condition criteria has been matched but let us go to the page now what I want the third condition the ID from the second table so df of what is this one ID underscore y okay let me run it so you can see in the question they're asking the output should be a data frame but we are selecting a single column a single column is called series in pandas if you want to modify into a single column uh, data frame you should keep one more bracket a list of column names then it will become a data frame now it is not throwing an error but what is the issue the column name i should call it as either capital id or id whatever but the suffix is there so let me keep rename columns what is the previous column name it is id underscore y what is the new column name it is just capital id this is the step three 
let me submit for all the test cases yes our solution has passed all the test cases and it has successfully completed okay now if you want the solution for this problem please visit this github link the solution will be provided there okay the link also will be provided in the description below okay along with that if you want to join the community of data science and if you want to learn anything please fill this form my team will be reaching out to you okay and this is the linkedin page where i'm trying to build a community for same like-minded individuals please join it the link is provided in the description and if you have any questions regarding this uh, problems which we are solving please use the hashtag ask MLU Prasad and drop your question in the chat section I'll be answering all your questions okay until then keep learning guys